All righty, number 19. We are so close to Christmas. By the light of that same star, three wise men came from country far. To seek for a king was their intent and follow the star wherever it went. Born is the king of Israel. It's one of my favorite songs. <sighs> um, today is my last hall shift um, at Saratoga Springs. And since Wilderness Lodge does not have a hall, it will most likely be my last hall shift for a while. But unfortunately, that is not what's on my mind. Okay, that's better. I like this. How do you feel about this? Do you like this? We're gonna prop you up like that. I started my morning with a text from my husband saying my car got broken into. Jared has had issues with his window, his back window. And so I was like, well, this is bound to happen eventually. That's not what happened. They broke his front passenger window. They shattered it. <sighs> so now he has two broken windows on his car. They took his backpack. Although it was his backpack that he's used through college, uh, both colleges, his bachelor and master's. So there's sentimental attachment to it. All his backpack had was D&D um, &D dice, a bunch of different D&D &D dice, which again, you know, is not worth a whole lot, but is still, for sentimental reasons, important to Jared. Um, and although he was like, you know, I'm just glad that that's all it's taken, him being the mature one, I'm, like, upset about it. We never keep important stuff in our cars anyway, just throwing that out there. We just keep, like, car stuff. Like, I keep, like, shirt, like, a jacket and my reusable bags, and that's literally it. I don't keep stuff in my car. Because unfortunately, this is not the first time this has happened in our apartment complex. Um, this, isn't even, this isn't even the first time this has happened this year in our apartment complex. And my mom was talking to me, um, I called her earlier for, about my car. Um, she said, unfortunately, this is what happens when you live in a very populated area. Ah. I was on the phone with him while he was talking to the police officer. And so he's dealing with that this morning. I'm just frustrated that one, that this happened, and two, that it happened so close to Christmas. I'm just like... What idiots try to steal stuff like, oh my god, what cold-hearted idiots, and there's a bunch of other words that I have for them that are not YouTube appropriate, <laughs> would dare to even think about breaking into someone's car, let alone stealing something. Like, it just infuriates me. My mom's currently, as of right now, checking with the rental car people and being like, hey, all this stuff needs to get fixed. Um, we're gonna need the rental car for a little longer. And so, uh, yeah. Actually, I'm paranoid now to make sure if my car is even still there, to be honest with you. I think after this, I'm gonna run and go move my car closer so it's easier for me to go to my shift. <sighs> I'm going to sit and make my chocolate peppermint tea, maybe have a chocolate cookie or my peppermint bark with breakfast and just sit and relax because I've had the most stressful morning. <laughs> I went to go move my car and I realized I can't because there's a police car in the way. <laughs> and there's a police car in the way because um, not just my husband's car got broken into, forgot to mention this, but the two cars on either side of him also got broken into. One was a big truck, didn't look like new, but it was a big like Ford truck. The other was a really nice, like, yellow sports car, and then my husband's little red car. And then um, the other car is missing, and we don't know if they stole it or if they just took off. But a police report was not, the police were not called. Um, Jared was actually the first one to call the police, and that poor police officer is still there with the other two people um with who had their cars broken into so this is like a big hit like boom 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 and i don't know if they got anything stolen they looked peeved and pissed jared and i have been dealing it with the, with it the most this morning jared also decided to call out for work because his car is not safe to drive and he wants to go and take it in to get it fixed but so I'm gonna make breakfast for both of us, but this has been a really interesting morning And I'm just kind of to the point where I like I have to laugh at it because I'm so frustrated. Why do you keep meowing? Why? 
What? What? Oh. So it's kind of hard to see, but you see that blue car? I thought it was a yellow car, but the yellow car was not involved. That blue car was one of the cars that got hit, and it's directly across from where my rental car is. I'm sitting in it right now. So literally, my rental car could have gotten hit. And honestly, it's not even too far from home, from our building. Anyway, I'm going to go to work and try to have a good day and not think about it. Jared's going to be leaving soon to go get the car worked on, so hopefully they're able to fix it. So, today was good. Um, or at least the last half was good. We weren't too busy. It was nice and slow, very chill. But the first half of my shift was nothing but like needy, I don't want to say problem guests, so that's, that's not the right word, it's just like very particular, guests who were very particular about how they wanted things done, or they were very negative, I actually got a couple of those, and it just wasn't a very good, fun atmosphere to kind of start my day, that and one of my coordinators got mad at me about something small, um, it was important, but small, and so that also didn't, I think it was actually my last day working with her and she didn't even get to say goodbye, get to. I had to do, say, have to say goodbye to a couple of lifeguards and cast members today and I did not look forward to that. And because we weren't too busy, um, there was a lot of times like, think about how it was my last haul shift. I don't know, it, it still doesn't feel, like it's starting to slowly feel like it's my last day but it doesn't 100% feel like it's my last day. Like, when I say goodbye to people, like deep down inside I'm thinking, I can't believe I'm not working with you again. But like other times it's like, oh, I'm coming in next week. You know, like it, it, it even though it's on my training schedule, like it just doesn't feel like I'm leaving, you know? It just feels like I'm getting cross trained somewhere. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so like I love this place and I keep trying like catching myself going like you're going to like wilderness as well as well like you're you're gonna like it too you know yeah it may not be exactly like Saratoga Springs but you're going to like it there it's just really hard when you find like I've mentioned this before it's really hard when you find a place that you really like and then you have to leave that place like trying to convince yourself that you're going to like the next place especially because I have been even though this is something that I chose and I technically chose the other locations too I just I'm just afraid that I'm not gonna like where I go you know but it's okay I ended on a good note nice and chill Got to watch Aladdin, got to do some painting for glazing, and I actually need to call Jared and let him know I'm walking to the car because he's holding a, a visitor spot for me. <sighs> Anywho, I also have to ask him how the car went because I have no idea. <laughs> I forgot to text him and talk to him over my break, so I was talking to my mom about my car which we're dealing with on Saturday, which is good, because I don't work Saturday. So anywho, I'm gonna end this here, because I have no idea how long this vlog is. It's been a very interesting day, and I'm glad that it's over, because I'm starving, and I have either mac and cheese or a cheese pizza waiting for me, both lactose intolerant. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys all tomorrow. Tomorrow's my last day at Saratoga.